Well, the Trial of the Picts is a test of the nation's coinage. So the coinage that we use every day, uh, the base metal coins that we carry around in our pockets, are tested every year uh, at the Trial of the Picts to make sure that the, the mint is doing what it, it, it's legally bound to do, to make coins to the right weight, the right composition standards. And every year, uh, a sample of the coinage is, is randomly selected from production and tested independently uh, at Goldsmiths Hall um, and assessed by an independent jury. Uh, so it acts as an independent check on what the, what the Royal Mint is doing uh, in, in any one given year. The Trial of the Picks process is one of many external verifications that we go through as an organisation. But when we look at the Trial of the Picks process, this is a very detailed analysis and testing of all of the UK products that we manufacture uh, through a calendar year. Procedure starts with our planning department where they actually uh, decide how many coins we're going to manufacture in a year. And we have sampling rates that we must follow to achieve the 1971 Coinage Act and to make sure that Trial of the Picks order are uh, adhered to. So my name is Phil Hawkins. I'm currently the Queen's Assay Master at the Royal Mint. A large part of the role involves uh, liaising with the National Measurement Office and Goldsmiths Hall to ensure that um, trial plates and uh, coin standard weights are in existence for all coinage. So the reason why assaying of the uh, coins against the trial plates is so important is to ensure the integrity of the existing UK coinage and the genuine coins, which are very strictly specified and controlled in production, um, makes it very difficult for fraud and counterfeiting of the coins to exist. Well, the trial of the picks, it, it, it is actually a legally uh, constituted trial. Uh, so it's called the trial of the picks because it, it's actually presided over by a high court judge. Uh, the deputy master is on trial. Uh, but what is being tried, in a sense, it's his performance in the role of deputy master and uh, the performance of what the Royal Mint has done in that year. So that the coinage is being tried, is being trialled, and it's called the PIX. The PIX is the word given uh, to the box in which the sample coins are kept. Formerly, uh, this material was kept at the PIX Chapel in Westminster Abbey. And the PIX actually, the word PIX, relates to where you would put religious vestments, objects relating to religious ceremonies. The one commuted into the other at some point in history. But it's a trial of what is contained within the PIX box. I'm Adam Lawrence, I'm the Deputy Master and Chief Executive of the Royal Mint, um, and I'm on trial here today to make sure that the coins we make are in accordance with the Corny Jack for the UK. But we all hope that the coins we have in our pocket are genuine and are being made to the correct specifications, and what's happening here today is to make sure that what we say we do, we are actually doing. So it's an independent verification that the coins we make, and not just the circulation coins, but also the commemoration coins, the bullion coins we make, are being made with 24 karat gold or with sterling silver, whatever we say they're being made with, they're actually being made with the exact specifications, so everybody has confidence in the currency and the coins we make. Yes, I'm Stephen Whitaker, the Senior Master of the Senior Courts of England and Wales in the Queen's Bench Division, and along with that job goes the job of Queen's Remembrancer. The role is a very wide one as Queen's Remembrancer, there are many functions. One of the most interesting ones is the one that we're attending today, which is to preside over the trial of the picks the trial effectively of the national coinage, which ensures that uh, the fineness of the coins is, is just as it should be according to the way that uh, the various acts of parliament are provided. And also it helps the mint to be able to portray itself quite rightly as I think the best mint in the world. The verdict is usually to, happens in the first week in May. So we've got a period now for about three months where we've got to sort of cross our fingers, but I'm sure everything will be okay on the day. Please stand, the Prime Warden, the Master of the Mint, the Queen's Remembrancer. It's always a relief uh, when we hear that the verdict uh, was successful and it's always a great occasion 
with the Queen's Remembrancer and also the Chancellor of the Exchequer when he comes along to hear the verdict. Uh, this year, uh, the actual testing of the coins was particularly challenging because we had some new coins and new ways of testing, particularly the one kilogram coins. And also this year, for the first time, we had some 999.9 parts per thousand coins which we had to test as well. So it was particularly challenging for my uh, team in the laboratory, but uh, they rose to the challenge and uh, it's great that today everything uh, was uh, passed. Really pleased. Um, the, I mean, I'm sure the guys in the factory are really pleased that once again the quality of their work has been proven um, and we are the best mint in the world.